Hey everybody, it's your boy the RC Cougar. This is the half and the half not season uh oh, my bad. Season eight, episode twelve, I say season seven. But yeah, um it was a good it was cool. Cool episode, I guess. You know, a little fella, but cool it was. Um let me think. Well, of course we see Jim in the hospital. He refused to rest some more. He wanted to get out so bad, he turned the doctor, get me out of here, get me out of here. And we knew why Apology wasn't Jim. I can't believe Jim don't even see it, but maybe he does. The thing is, why he hate his family? Let's just put it that way. And, again, make, make his ass go to rehab or let his ass go to jail and never be seen again. Because they need to get rid of this guy. Because they ain't do nothing for him. They ain't, they ain't do nothing for Y anyway. So, why not? This dude been shot. He been um passed out. We thought he was dead from drugs a couple of seasons ago. This dude been dead. No matter what, no matter what happened to him, he's still alive, pretty much. And we ain't see for longer this episode. So surprise! I'm surprised we ain't see her in this episode. Of course, we ain't see Benny and Candace in this episode either. But we'll be seeing them next week. We know Ken's gonna be pregnant. That's why she can't do too much like she used to. Of course, Hannah confronted, you know, told David to get out. Don't come out. And the thing is, Jim and David don't even know Hannah is there. And when they went up the stairs, I know I'm going over the place. They caught them in that saying, what the hell are you doing? And that's when Jim said it. So now Jim was pissed off and David going to try to talk to her. Actually, Hannah gonna hit him with something. I forgot where it was. What the what the hell she had in her hand? She cracked David with something and she wasn't having it. Like, you know she don't trust Jim. She damn sure don't trust David. The only person she trusts is Catherine. Cause Catherine been there for Hannah. Well, actually Hannah been there for Catherine and now she playing her a favor, putting her in charge, and she even fired David. Saying that I don't want to see you again. She said, I do. I I do believe in forgiveness. But it's going to be hard for her to forgive him. Especially when he raped her when they was young. So that ain't never going away. It's going to be hard for her. That's why she's trying to move past it. Of course, Benny and Mitch are going to get into it. Because Benny asked Mitch, why are you always around Candace? It's crazy because the thing is, I think I know why. I think Candace and Mitch used to be together. That's probably why they're so close. And Benny don't even know. That's the thing. Things about to get reheated. And I can't wait until next Tuesday. I can't wait. Can't believe it. That it's happening just like this. But yeah. Can't wait to Sunday either. Because we know Power Book 2 Ghosts is returning on the 6th. So I can't wait. That's, everything will be coming back on soon. What has happened? And of course, like I said, then Jeffrey was in Madison. We could see him in the episode. Madison and Jeffrey was in the bed together just talking, having a conversation. And he knows that his mother is a, uh, what did he say? Let me think. He said um, that she's like a genius and uh, whatever else he said. And Madison's say that she's more like a witch because that's what they say and for longer probably don't care what people what people call her don't face her then face Jim when people call him an asshole call him, you know all type of name and I didn't face him either he used to with people call him names and Jeffrey was phased too he said you can't hurt me no more with words he told why that and why he told me he don't want to be his friend no more I said once again man why he even want to be your, your friend anyway when you are an asshole yourself? You're just like your father. But the thing is, he said if he go to rehab, he don't want nothing to do with them anymore. Let's not forget that he didn't like his parents like that. And I just wish that his sister said stay alive and she could have did her own thing. Her and Ken's would be good friends because they was from the beginning until she got killed off. And I'm mad about that. Why they kill her all? Because she was bipolar too. And I didn't like what Catherine pressed at her before in the past when she was alive. Because this woman is stressed. 
But yeah, guys. And you know, the funny thing is, I know I'm going way back for episode, you know, for 2013 when this show first came out. Jim refused to get her some help. And we know why he need help, because that dude was begging for Jim to take him to rehab so he won't go back to prison. Or jail, because he didn't really kill anybody. The dude didn't know what he was doing. And plus, he was fucking high, and he was drunk, by the way. He knew exactly what he was getting this up into. Let me see, what else is... Because there really not much to talk about. You know, I did enjoy it, but... It was a cool filler episode, I'm going to just say that. Mm. Now I know David and Jim have a conversation, you know, about... And David don't even care about Veronica, pretty much. He don't care if she get murdered in the hospital, because she was in the hospital before. And that was that. And of course, Dad got arrested for uh, rape or something like that. So I don't know what the hell is that about. But, do y'all think he raped somebody young? I don't know if that's the case. But I, I'm not going to put it past him because Hannah, was, Hannah knows that she don't want nothing to do with him. And pretty much she knew he was that kid of rape. Maybe, I think it was sex rape. I'm going to just say that. And she still can't stand, she still can't look at him. She ain't passed it. And you know she not passed it yet. And yeah, he told me he loved the Lord or the God or whatever he said, he said, he said you know what I'm saying. But, you know, then we got Catherine and Jim calling each other's name as usual. What an old married couple they are when they are separated. Um, yeah, man. It is what it is. But I do plan on waiting to next week episode between Benny and Mitchell. And and Benny just react or reacted. Kenneth is a grown ass woman. She could talk to whoever she wanna to talk to. Even your friend. And it's kinda of crazy. Cause I remember back in the day when I was watching UCI Sir, so he was way older but tech and I get that. But you can trust your friends for once. I didn't like the fact that he trying to control her. And I feel like it's what Vinny doing with Candace. At least that's what I'll see. But that's it, guys. Don't forget to wait, comment, subscribe. Please turn on notifications, share this video. See y'all in the next one. Peace out.